Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper, welcome to my channel. Been doing a few videos on these Chinese diesel heaters, not necessarily the Chinese ones now, I think they're making them all over the world. So my mate's dropped one off for me. Uh, he's replaced his because he says this one's absolutely knackered and I said, well, don't throw it away. I'll have a look at that, please. And uh, I'll see if we can get it fixed. If not, it'll be interesting just to have a look inside and see how these things work. Uh, as you know, mine's been absolutely fine. And I don't use a battery, I just use a straightforward power supply. So let's have a look and see what we can do. As you know, because I use a power supply on mine, battery isn't connected. That's what I do, and it works for me. So here it is. Oh, crikey, my seat's just broke. <laughs> oh, wow, that's going to make things difficult. So here it is. It's a, he says it's a five kilowatt. I haven't seen anything to say it isn't yet. But I don't know how you tell the difference, really. It must be the size of the chamber. So I'm just going to whip the back off and the covers off. And we'll have a look at the basic component with what we've got left. So there we are. Top cover removed. Uh, there's no glow plug in it, which is helpful. But he says that there were flames coming out of here and smoke. So that would suggest to me that either that plug bore is no good or a seal has gone. Uh, one of the gaskets may have blown, but we'll have a look and we'll see if there's any telltale signs around the outside. Let's get it stripped down. So I had a good look around and I can't see any screws that hold this on, but it looks as though it's screwdriver levers and these just unclip. So we'll try that. Yeah, it was as simple as that. Just get your screwdriver in and lever that. So that's that cover off. Then we'll take this kind of mounting gasket off if you like. And I'd imagine that cover just drops down. Let's have a look. Yeah, so just take your cable out and then this clips down forward and then just comes off the back. So that's basically what you're left with. I've had a look around it and I can't see any signs of this front gasket gone. But I wouldn't imagine that's the chamber gasket. I'd imagine we have to take a few bits off in order to get to the chamber. Looking down there. That bore looks perfectly fine and the threads look fine. So I don't think this is a case of the threads failing or anything. So let's have a look. So like I said, I'm playing this all by ear, but I reckon if we take those off and then this, I might be wrong, but this looks like a temperature probe, if that's the glow plug. So we'll take these Allen screws out and we'll see if that splits and shows us a bit more of the chamber. So first job, get this one out because there's all the electrics are in front of these screws. So just whip this one out first, leave that dangling perhaps. Yeah, I've just moved that up out of the way so we can get to these screws and we'll see what happens next. So that's four screws out, all the same length and they weren't tight at all. You could almost undo them with your fingers. Now I've literally just held that with one hand, given that a bit of a twist and that's happened. So you're seeing this for the first time as I am. And that looks as though that's the heating chamber. Awesome. So looking at it from this end, you can see where the glow plug goes through there and into there. And we've got four cap screws there. So let's get them out and see what's inside there. So they're a bit tight. Let me just get my pliers. See if I can find my pliers, which are there. So these aren't tight, but you do need a pair of pliers if you're tackling it that way round. So that's all four screws out, and they're the same length as well. This has got the fuel intake attached to it, so that comes out as one unit. So again, this is the first time I've seen this, so you're doing this with me. back of it and that is what we've got next so we're looking down inside there that's the actual chamber where all the burning takes place we're having a look down inside here nothing much going on there now is there a gasket there perhaps there is, well, there's no signs of anything 
leaking or burning there, is there? Interesting. So I'm looking around this gasket and I cannot see any signs of black smoke crossing that gasket. So I would say that that has not failed. And then the mating part, looking around that, there's no sign that that's tracked across either. But that's not failed. I've got some decent light on this and you can see for yourselves. It doesn't look like anything's failed around there, does it? Let's have a look down inside. Just a chamber, a dead end chamber. That chamber obviously gets hot with the diesel inside it, which warms up the outer of the aluminium casing. And then the fan blows air across the top of it, which blows out the end. So a very simple unit really. But no, I can't see any problem with that. Can't see any reason why that gasket has failed. And I don't think it has, if I'm honest. Let's have a look at the other side again with a bit of better light. And again, there is nothing going on there. Nothing at all. That all appears to be the same thing. I don't think this part comes off separately. But if it was leaking, it would be black along this seam here, wouldn't it? You'd see some black diesel pumping out of there, but there's nothing. So I think my mate has not put the plug in properly. That's all it can be, surely. Maybe it was not seated properly. I don't know. I have no idea. But... I'm going to say that I took it apart. I find absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'll tell him to get another glow plug and make sure it's wound in tidy. You do get a tool with the glow plugs for putting them in with the electric cable already attached to them. So when you order a glow plug, make sure that it, it's the type that comes with a tool. It's just like a socket barrel that just crosses over. But other than that, I can't see anything wrong. And the only way fumes would come up through here is if this gasket fails or the plug if anybody knows anything different let me know but as far as i can see i'm going to put this back together and i'm going to tell him to get another glow plug and see how he gets on so that that that's a bit of a mystery to me really anybody work on these and know lots about them put something in the comments let me know what else can fail. I can't see anything, to be honest. Like I said, I'm just going to put it back together and I'm going to tell him to get another glow plug and make sure it's sealed properly when he winds it in. Maybe if you haven't got the special tool that I've seen on the YouTube channels, then maybe you don't get it in tight enough and it leaks a bit. I don't know. That's just a guess. Any opinions? Let me know. I'd be uh, amazed to see what the problem is here. You've been watching Steve the Transit Camper, having a look at these Chinese diesel heaters, hoping this one gets working. You take care. Thanks very much.